from being in charge of her husband's empire to honoring his career in the best possible way, these are the most expensive things that Vanessa Bryant inherited after Kobe Bryant passed on. Unfortunately, none of this was in good circumstances because everything happened so unexpectedly. Her husband's death shocked millions around the world, especially when their 13-year-old daughter, Gianna Maria Honore Bryant, was in the crash too. A lot of you know that Kobe was worth millions, and after his passing, the rightful owner of the empire he built would be his wife. So what exactly did she inherit? Kobe was involved in a lot of business ventures and estates that included Kobe Inc., which is an umbrella company for his other entrepreneurial endeavors. Granity Studios is a multimedia company that creates and produces content for multiple media platforms. Aside from those two, the Mamba Sports Academy is a training facility for athletes looking to provide high quality training in a variety of sports. So no, it is not limited to basketball. During their marriage, Vanessa was a model with a net worth of around $75 million. After Kobe's death, that number skyrocketed to approximately $600 million. But the Bryant household's fortune was built mostly on the legend's earnings, both on and off the court. He made more than $300 million with the Los Angeles Lakers. His endorsement deals were with multinational companies like Nike, Coca-Cola, Mercedes-Benz, and McDonald's. In other words, Kobe wasn't just an NBA icon, but he was a very savvy businessman too. Vanessa is now in charge of everything, so let's dive a little deeper into these ventures. In 2013, Kobe started a capital firm with Jeff Stibble worth $100 million and named it Bryant Stibble. As of 2021, this firm was worth around $2 billion dollars, but that doesn't mean every penny goes towards Vanessa. I don't think I need to go into how net worth works, but just know that this is a very expensive asset that Vanessa now manages. Bryant Stiebel works with visionary entrepreneurs and business leaders to help build enduring companies, and they've worked with more than 90 businesses in the consumer, technology, and enterprise sectors. The partnership works with Dunn and Bradstreet, having stakes across a wide range of tech and media companies like Dell, Epic Games, Alibaba, and more. A year later, Kobe invested four to six million dollars in the sports drink Body Armor, which was sold to Coca-Cola for around 5.6 billion dollars. This sale was the reason the Kobe Bryant estate exists today and is Vanessa's primary source of income. Now that most of the business talk is out of the way, let's talk more about Vanessa's household. Kobe's mansion that he bought for his family in the summit at Turtle Ridge a gated community that is a few miles away from his main estate in Newport Coast. The house was worth $1.95 million, and Vanessa sold it for $2 million, adding a huge surplus to her bank account. This expensive behemoth had a clay tile roof that tops the brick and stucco exterior, with a gorgeous landscape that leads to the front door. The mansion has three bedrooms and 2.5 bathrooms, spreading across 2,300 square feet. The kitchen is something you'd see the Succession family dining in because both the interior and exterior stay true to total harmony and Italian Tuscany. This doesn't mean that Vanessa and her kids are homeless. In October 1997, Kobe and his wife bought a massive estate for $1.7 million, which is now worth around $4.6 million. On 0.47 acres, this home has six bedrooms and around 6,500 square feet of living space. Entertainment facilities include a built-in barbecue, swimming pool, 850 square foot gym, home theater, a hair salon, and a massive shark tank. The Newport Coast Estate is worth a little less than $7.6 million. How much less, you ask? Well, just $7,599,999. Who needs that one extra dollar, right? This main estate has a screening room, a deep swimming pool, a huge marble kitchen, and a four-car garage. Wait, a four-car garage? Have I talked about his fabulous collection yet, which belongs to his wife now? Let me start with the one that he gifted her in 2001, a Lamborghini Murcielago. This beast cost him 700 grand, but there's a twist. Vanessa, being 19, told her newly husband that she didn't know how to drive a stick. 
who could blame her? So what did Kobe do? Did he return it to the dealership? Nope, rumor has it he spent $400,000 on modifications to engineer a technology called drive-by wire, which basically did the job of converting it to an automatic transmission. This model is now considered to be a one of a kind. The gesture is very sweet, but I'm sorry. Wouldn't hiring a driving instructor be way cheaper? Who cares when you're worth millions, huh? Today, Vanessa also owns a Mercedes AMG G63, a Land Rover, a Range Rover, a Bentley Azure Milliner, and a Cadillac Escalade. I could be missing a car or two from the list. I mean, there are just too many. This luxurious collection would definitely round up to around a few million dollars, but who cares when you're worth triple the amount? Cars aside, there is something even more valuable than that. Believe it or not, Vanessa wears it everywhere she goes. I am referring to the purple diamond wedding ring with an eight carat diamond and is worth almost $4 million. However, the ring's emotional value outweighs its monetary value since it is her wedding ring. So there are clearly more important considerations than money. The ring was given to Vanessa around the time Kobe was faced with legal charges of assault. The controversy was the ultimate test of their relationship, but she stuck with him through thick and thin. Fans weren't happy that Bryant was spending millions on rare diamonds for his wife while he was under fire for the allegations and legal trouble, but none of that broke their bond back then. What did break them up was around a decade later, but I don't think I'll be getting into those details for this video, because the main thing here is that huge rock on her finger. I'm surprised her hands don't have abs for carrying it around all day. The diamond is actually an off shade of pink, which was all the rave back in the early 2000s. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez tied the knot in 2002, and the wedding ring was a similar stone. But houses, wedding rings, cars and business empires aside, there is one thing that Vanessa owns, and to her, it doesn't have a price tag. After Kobe's passing, his eulogy revealed that he presented her with a very unique and thoughtful gift. You must be wondering what could be better than a modified Lamborghini and a purple diamond ring worth $4 million. Well, he gifted her a blue dress, but not just any blue dress. It was the blue dress Rachel McAdams wore in The Notebook. In the 2004 film, Young Allie, played by McAdams, wears this dress when she falls in love with Ryan Gosling's Noah. The fictional couple had a long and happy marriage and grew old together. At the Lakers tribute to Kobe and his daughter, Vanessa recalled the conversation she had with her late husband about the dress. He explained that he chose this dress because it represented the scene in which Allie returned to Noah. The couple hoped to grow old together, much like the two characters in the film. This shocked everyone at the arena, leaving tears in everyone's eyes. And the reason I put this dress in a video about the most expensive items inherited by Vanessa is because because this gift is absolutely priceless. In Vanessa's speech, she spoke about the designer of the dress, Karen Wagner, who said that she had zero idea about the gift and that the last thing she remembered was putting it in a box and locking it away in storage. Wagner was still emotional when talking about her reaction and was honored that she was able to contribute in some small way to the history of the amazing man that was Kobe. Vanessa is a philanthropist who is committed to raising her three daughters. Recent photos show them smiling and coping with such a tragic loss. Vanessa won the lawsuit over the helicopter crash, earning her an additional $29 million, and she's been using it on the business ventures left by her late husband, especially when investing in finding young talent across multiple media platforms. Her eulogy, along with that of Kobe himself, touched the hearts of many, leaving them on the edge of tears because the world lost a very important person and inspiration. And so, from honoring his career in the best possible way to being in charge of her husband's empire, those were the most expensive things Vanessa Bryant inherited after Kobe Bryant passed on.